morning we are talking about someone you have probably heard of, his name, Mac McClung. He's literally become a viral sensation for his skills playing basketball at Gate City. And I'm so excited that you got a chance to meet him. Yeah, it was great to meet him. Kind of, he's the name behind all the headlines and all the videos you're seeing. I mean, this video right here on YouTube has gotten more than 100,000 views. And some of these YouTube videos have more than a million. Tens of thousands of time on social media he's been shared. He's been on ESPN and his coach says he started off as a small seventh grader that wasn't really a great shooter. Now he has thousands of fans and a bright future ahead at a Division I university. He has a fire burning inside like, like nobody I've ever seen. I mean, he burns to win. Not only does Mac McClung win games, he's won a scholarship to Georgetown University, attention from names like Drake and Allen Iverson, and the adoration of packed gyms on Friday nights. And all eyes watched as he chose from some of the top colleges in hot pursuit. And I was grateful all those schools were calling me, but at times, you know, you just want to, you just want to go out to eat and not have a phone call, and you just wanted to not look at your phone and have a bunch of text messages. But at the same time, I'm really grateful for those coaches and everybody being interested in me. So, what is it about this 6'2 senior from Gate City, Virginia? Part of it's natural talent. Um, Part of it's natural athleticism, but the parts that they don't see are the hours upon hours upon hours that he practices those moves. Three, sometimes four times a day, I'm in here or in in a weight room. When you see him hit the fadeaway jumper from three, you know, last second shot. He's probably practiced that thing a hundred times this week. And even though for a high school senior, it seems he's reached the top of his game. I just want to keep getting better, and I know if I'm sitting around all um, confident, and, you know, thinking I don't need to get better, then that's when someone else can catch it. As God gives it to you, you can take it away just as, just as uh, fast. And my teammates always help me stay grounded. Teammates that together with McClung have filled gyms hours before the games, winning over fans from both sides of the bleachers. And here in his home gym, as he approaches his last game as a Blue Devil. It's going to be hard, you know. I, I've been here for four years now playing on this court, and it's just been, it's been so many great memories and so much love and so much support. And for the little Max out there hoping to be just like him. I want to show them that anybody, anybody can do it from Gate City, Virginia, 6'2", you know, just doesn't matter how big you are, you can do it. The key, he says? Believe in yourself, you know, confidence is so key on the court and just work really hard, work hard in everybody you see. And McClung says it's that motto that's taken him this far. Okay, Amy, so this kid's vertical is 47 inches. That means he gets 47 inches up off the ground. This yardstick is 36. So it's about right here that his so feet. <laughs> so that's that's where his feet. feet. So he could literally just jump, jump over, over you. Yeah. Which we and see have in the video, <laughs> which is why I think so many people just want to come out and see him play. He's just amazing to watch and then to know that his heart is there with it. I mean, it's, he's like that perfect combination, well-grounded and... Yeah, I was asking his coach, what is it, you know, that draws people? Obviously, the great tricks, the dunks. And his coach said, people just love seeing somebody who leaves it all on the court. I mean, there's nothing yeah. he holds back, and he practices just like he plays, according to his coach. So just really neat to get to sit down and hear what, I mean, what this journey has been like. I mean, he's a senior in high school, and thousands of people across the world know who he is. Oh, yeah, and all the scouts that have been there and everybody mm -hmm. calling him and wanting him to join their teams. And I love that he keeps it real with the kids mm -hmm. and sharing that knowledge and pushing them. It's a great story. Yeah. He can jump that high. Wouldn't that be, did you have him, like, Jump over you out on the court. I heard you played with him a little bit. Yeah, we did. He he uh, gave me some free throw tips. I, uh, Good. It was a humbling moment for me, but he was really <laughs> sweet and patient. But yeah, he he was great. So and tomorrow is his last um, regular season game as a Gate City Blue Devil. So that's going to be very bittersweet for him. He says, but. It'll be great, and obviously so many people will come out as they have his whole season to watch him. Oh, I am sure going to be very emotional, and of course can't wait to see what he does as his career continues. Great story. Thank you. Thanks. You know, I couldn't help watching some of those videos. I was like, is that Casey Marler doing that job? But then, <laughs> yeah, no, as I look closer, I can definitely And it's easy to mistake it. Yeah, yeah. Casey's got quite the jump, right?